Hey guys, welcome back to part two of the boat build. So today we have the CUSA board right here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this old marine grade plywood that's above the fuel cell. We're gonna most likely use this cardboard that the CUSA board came in, make an outline so we can transfer that over and cut it because that board is four foot by four foot and this board is <clears throat> roughly four feet long by I think about 34 inches wide. So we're gonna have to do some cutting as well as in the back for the fuel lines so they can be accessible. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get an outline drawn up and start taking this old board off. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get a drill and start removing some of these old screws and then attempt to try and remove this old board. And as you guys can see, this is the play that I was talking about earlier and you can see it's putting a lot of pressure on the fuel tank itself and this hose connection so definitely a potential of that snapping breaking and that's definitely not what you want when you're out having fun on the water and it's warped a lot from the sides and the thing with marine grade plywood the only thing that's waterproof and the reason why they call it marine grade plywood is because of the adhesive they use to link all the layers of wood together because this is still wood at the end of the day so it's still gonna warp still gonna deteriorate slowly especially sitting over a fuel cell with all those fumes potential fumes going up out of the tank and being so close to the engine as well and so much pressure being walked on so that's why I wanted to go ahead and replace it with a much more stronger material which is that CUSA board so let's go ahead and take this off all right, so I got the drill, so we're gonna go ahead and start knocking out some of these screws, getting them removed. Some of them more hidden than others, some are rusted, so hopefully we can get the majority of them out. I do have the hammer too, if anything we need to pry something off, but I do wanna avoid that because it is a fiberglass hole, so I don't wanna damage anything further. All right, so let's go ahead, and get started. That one's stripped, of course, the very last screw, and it's stripped. Luckily, this screw was still protruding out some, so I was able to grab it with these pliers. Whoa! There it goes. Ah. Wow. Look at her. It's crazy. And it's still in good piece, so that's perfect. We can lay this on top of the CUSA board and use this as a template instead of the cardboard. I just did that as a backup because you never know what condition this was in and it might have broke and would have been hard to get a good idea. So yeah, this fuel tank, I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, but it has a big divot right here. From all that pressure from that board, people standing on it, it's moved a lot because it used to be this high. If you look right here, that used to be how flush it was. And over time it just sagged down. But it's still good. All these connections are still good. We're gonna go ahead and start measuring out the CUSA board, putting this on and getting it cut. All right guys, so here we got the CUSA board. We actually got this from BoatOutfitters.com. I went ahead and measured the boat as well just now. I measured from the back and the front and it was 34 and a half inches compared to the middle it was actually 34 inches. So I'm gonna cut that excess off and make it even 34 and a half so then I can cut this board at 34 and a half because the old one is about 34 inches and then 34 and a quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that jigsaw and make the lines accordingly and cut this to size. And then we're gonna cut out the fuel openings on the bottom as well.
stuff is hard to cut. Just this piece alone, like, I'm putting a lot of my weight on this and it's not buddy. barely flexing, only slightly. Really strong stuff. So definitely, if you guys need to replace any of your floorboards, highly recommend investing just a little bit more into this Kusa board. So far, seems to be worth it. All right, guys, so we got the old board right here. I'm gonna go ahead and mock it up to this one. I got about a quarter inch to half an inch overhang on this side, which is what I want. And now I'm gonna go ahead and mark this. So we're gonna cut out that same shape. Alright, so we got that outline there. Alright, so as you guys can see, here's that outline that we're about to cut off. Hang it over the edge again and cut away. Alright guys, so my jigsaw set screw that holds the blade in place broke. So I'm gonna have to go to the oscillating tool. Luckily we got the main piece that matters that needs to be straight. This can have a little bit of modulation because the oscillating tool is gonna be a little hard to keep steady, but let's see what we can do. What do you have to say? I freaking hate this thing. It came in clutch. Yeah, I wish my jigsaw was working though. Now I gotta go back with a sander. I'm probably gonna put a sander head on this and at least clean up some of this because it looks pretty bad. But there's only so much you can do with the multi-tool. All right, so I got the sanding head on the oscillator tool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go through these corners and these sides that are cut, that are uneven, and then sand them down so they can be smooth and make it look a lot better. So let's go ahead. Alright guys, so here we got the Kusa board nice and cut. So we got the dimensions on the bottom and on the sides. We're gonna go ahead and mock it up on the boat and potentially probably start sanding down some of the sides of the boat floor so this can fit right in. So let's go ahead. Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and try and lay this in. Alright, so it fits in the front, but the sides Gotta just sand down the sides a little bit. Gotta take this out.
fingers crossed. This is the one. All right. Oh, are you kidding me? So close. Right here. This is good. It's just this piece right there. That's it. That's my mark. <laughs> Better than your foot. Well, at least I used my foot. That's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm helping. <laughs> I use my feet to walk every day. Good job. This is it. This is the one. Right here. It's not the one I'm going to cut what I just set out, but this is the one. <laughs> yes! Yay! Woohoo! Awesome. Vacuumer! Oh, look at her. It's dirty. Wow, it doesn't even have any support over here, but it's literally just. Nice. Much better. Nice. And these cutouts <coughs> look good too. <coughs> yep. Why the frick they they cut that piece out? Uh, I guess this might have went this way. Oh. Sweet. Sweet. All right, now I'm gonna get the vacuum out, clean everything underneath. And then we'll put be this, back. Put this bad boy back on top, and screw it down. You gonna use those screws? Yep. The ugly ones? Yes. Hey, screws are screws. So. Yeah, that's true. There we go. I'm excited. Looks really good. And now look, we can stand on it and not have to worry about anything. Hopefully no one will jump, but you know. I'm sure I can hold it. <laughs> but yeah, awesome. So that's gonna be it for today's part of the boat build. Next part, part three, we're gonna actually spray paint. Well, first we're gonna clean, then we're gonna spray paint the sides right here, the carpet. And also we're gonna get adhesive spray and we're gonna take this down and then we're gonna spray paint that carpet. We haven't decided if we wanna do original gray or if we're gonna do black, so we'll see. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I appreciate you guys for everything you do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I didn't hear a beep. I don't think it's recording. <laughs> it's recording! Show me. It's at seven seconds! Are you serious? Yes, I heard the beep! Is Eleven the seconds. On? Yeah? Is it green? Yeah.